Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see here, I have got one of these here uh, pneumatic air operated brake bleed kit thingies. Got it from Harbor Freight, about a hundred bucks. Never used one of these before. Every time I've ever bled brakes up until the uh, attempting to do it the other day has been with the old, you know, have your buddy pump the pedal, turn the bleeder valve, close it, pump the pedal, do that route. But since I'm out here by myself most of the time, I am going to try one of these out. Now, I did buy one of the little hand pump jobbies, and uh, you need three or four hands in order to, to pump that thing, open the valve, get it all to work, and all that good stuff. And so I figured that uh, I almost got a vacuum pump. They were like 80 bucks, and uh, then it was like, well, I don't know how much I would use that for other things, and so I figured I would just go ahead and get this one. It was a little bit more, but it seemed like it might be kind of a neat thing to have. So uh, let me figure out how to get this thing put together and see if it works. Okay, let's go ahead and get all this stuff out of the box. First things first, we have the uh, owner's manual and safety instructions. I'm gonna set them closer because you never know. And then uh, this is the attach on reservoir so you can put brake fluid in there, attach it to your master cylinder and so that it'll automatically keep the fluid level up while you're sucking the brake fluid out of it to make sure you bleed your brake lines. Oh, these are little rubber cappies that go over your, your uh, valve. And then this is uh, another couple of things. Yeah, I don't know what they're for. I'm sure the instructions tell us. And then there's some hose. And then the big canister and some more hose. So that's basically, that's, that's what's in the box. Um, this line, I'm pretty sure goes on and then into and then the airline. See, the whole thing with this, the reason that I thought that I wanted to give this a try is because I can hook up my air compressor to it and somehow through some kind of uh, magic i'm sure it probably uses a venturi effect and so that it runs air through creates the the suction or the vacuum at the whichever end of the hose and pulls the brake fluid out and into this tank here well my thing is i need to be able to run with two hands one holding the hose on the other one turning the wrench and then closing the the valve off and then that should be that hopefully fingers Fingers crossed, yep, that's right, that wasn't the middle finger. Fingers crossed that this will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the instruction manual just a little bit because, I don't know, um, some lame attempt at gaining knowledge or something like that. But anyway, let me set this aside, get into this book, and figure this thing out. Okay, so I've got the, the uh, whole bucket deal here. I put the hose in that has, uh, let me see, make sure I get it in front of the camera, that piece on it, and that piece is gonna, I'll show you here in a second, it's gonna stick on to the uh, valve. Basically, you plug the hose in, and it does its thing, pressurizes the can, and now I actually do have some suction coming out of there, so. Let me uh, reposition the camera and we'll figure this whole thing out. All right, as part of the instructions, they talk about making sure that you don't overpressure this thing. It can't go above 200 PSI, but you basically put it right over the end of the, uh, the bleeder nipple there, and this should, in theory, draw fluid out just like that. Now I did not put the uh, the line in up on the other end 
or the, the canister that fills the master cylinder up, so I am going to have to check that out periodically to make sure that the master cylinder still has brake fluid in it. But uh, at least this is a good start to try it out. Wow. That certainly frees up an extra hand. This thing's actually kind of cool. Pop that off. I'm going to go check the uh, brake fluid, make sure I still have some in there. Okay, so I've done quite a bit since I kind of left off with everything a little bit earlier. Um, but uh, I did kind of figure out how this thing works. Let me go ahead and plug it back in. Mm. Basically what you do, you hook the air hose up to it, and then uh, this valve right here that's on the bottom, this, let me put it up here where it's more easy to see, this valve here, that starts, that starts the uh, air pressure from, from running through the system. And so basically, oops, bump the tripod with my knee. We put the wrench on there. Put that on the end of the nipple. Open the air up. Crack the valve. It starts fluid pulling through there. And then you close it off once you see clear fluid coming through. Now, let me get all this back into there. And I'm going to unplug the hose. Really, it's a pretty easy system to use. The problem that I've run into is that uh, I ran out of brake fluid. So, I'm gonna. I, I, I did order some the other day, so I've got a couple more bottles on the way, um, and so that's really it. I'm at a standstill until I get that back in. But uh, the important thing is, I do have all of the fluid through the lines. They're all bled, and they're not leaking anymore. And so, we installed so many new lines on this car, so many fittings and everything, and so we just kind of had to watch how the fluid was running and uh, how it was sitting in the lines and. It just takes a little while to track them all down and tighten everything up and make sure that it's not leaking anymore. And once it stops leaking, then you can really start bleeding it out and getting it going. So really, uh, I like this, this brake bleed thing. This, I think, is a game changer as far as for those of you that work in a shop by yourself a lot of times because uh, you can bleed brakes and stuff, brakes, clutches, whatever with this thing. Uh, thousand times easier so anyway uh, there you have it so here it is this is the the bottle that's that green valve I don't know if you can see it very well air chuck goes there you turn that valve open and then uh, that piece goes on the uh, the bleeder screw thingy nipple you open it up while the air is flowing it sucks the brake fluid through just that easy. It really pulls it all out and, and you know, really pretty impressed with how simple this thing is. I can't get over it that uh, this has been around for a long time and I don't have one, never knew one. So if you've never used one of these things and you do brake bleeding, clutch bleeding, stuff like that, you might think about getting yourself one of those because uh, make things incredibly convenient. So with that said, this video is done. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for uh, watching Yellow Jacket Garage. Um, I am now over 500 subscribers, so hopefully before long I'll get that little community tab and I can communicate a little bit easier. And some of you are probably like, great, another way for you to drone on. No, just kidding. Anyway, um, and so uh, huge milestone. I want to thank each and every one of you that has been there to get me to where I'm at. Those of you that have joined along the way. Hey, tell your friends, share my channel. Let's uh, head on to the next quest, which is a thousand subscribers. And for those of you that are not real familiar with how YouTube works, the thousand subscriber mark is kind of the neat point where the channel gets big enough that if you choose to do so, if you've got your thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, well, then you can get monetized and get your eight or $9 a month off of ad revenue. So yeah. 
Um, I'm not really all that worried about it. I would like to see a thousand subscribers just for the fun of it. And I'd like to see 10, I'd like to see 100, I'd like to see a million subscribers on my channel. But uh, someday, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But anyway, I'll shut up and uh, let you guys go. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching the other Jacket Garage. And uh, as always, we'll see you on down the road. Okay, so I got this thing all kind of figured out. I'm gonna show you one more time kind of how it works. And uh, now I'm gonna finish up the rest of the brakes, get this thing all bled out. And so, let me see if you can get up there so I can show you what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Here's the bottle. Here's the uh, chuck the end of the air hose. It clips on. Sure it does. But it clips on and then uh, you've got this, this on this one, it's this green little valve right here. That starts the air flowing. Turn it all the way back so it's wide open. And then you set that thing down and don't have to worry about it. Then you put the, uh, the bleeder thingy over the end of the, that nipple. And then the wrench on the, the line. Open it up. And it pulls fluid out. And that's it. it. It is really that easy. Hold that line up so that it drains all that fluid out. Turn it off. Pop the hose. And that is it. Maybe not the best hundred bucks I ever spent, but it's definitely a hundred bucks that was well spent in my opinion.